Hello, welcome to Power Life Live. I am Summer. I'm here to lead you through a 45 minute Power Bar Express class. So you need one weight, a bar of some sort. So today you only need a bar for balance. So anything, anything you can hold on to it can be a wall, back of a chair, countertop, something flimsier. Doesn't matter, friends. Uh, but grab your dumbbell, come onto your mat, click play on your playlist, please. When you're on your mat, Lay down, put your head by your bar, have your dumbbell close by, find Subdivada Kanasana, please. Bring your bottoms of your feet to touch. Think of prayer feet. If prayer feet was a thing, you're in prayer feet. Lay all the way back. Maybe place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, come into your breath. Take a few moments to just reset and to maybe acknowledge that over time, over years, maybe weeks, over the time of your practice, you have become more experienced, stronger, and more prepared. So whatever comes at you today through class, you're ready for it. Whatever comes at you throughout life, I would remind you you've survived 100% of everything so far, so your track record is pretty good. And maybe you just take a moment to appreciate all the prep, all the moments of work, or maybe even stress, or of planning that have paid off in some way. Myself, personally, we've become campers. And when I say campers, I mean we go glamping as a family. And each time it gets a little bit easier. This past weekend, we went. We didn't have plans. We kind of had like a makeshift, like, let's just go now. And that is not how I roll. I am not spontaneous. I am a planner. I have a list. I have a list for my list. And we made it happen. And we made it happen because up until this point, we've been planning, we've been learning, we've been getting more efficient and better at it. It's not so different on your map. So know that you are ready. You can be spontaneous and you can still be efficient. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Grab your dumbbell. Press your dumbbell above your chest to the ceiling. Have one end of it in each hand. Slowly bring your knees to touch. Extend your legs up the wall. Pull over. Inhale, lower your dumbbell overhead. Exhale, squeeze your last press it back up above your chest. Inhale, lower it overhead. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pinch it. Flare, squeeze, stretch, pinch through your lats. So I need, I mean, you need to have enough room between your head and the bottom of your bar, so you can reach your arms overhead. This is not a skull crusher. I want you to micro bend your elbows, but keep them there. Your entire arm is overhead. Feel your lats light up. Your back muscles beneath, behind your armpits right here. We build our lats to create the illusion of a smaller waistline. So if for no other reason, you do it for that, right? You squeeze, you pinch for that. As you inhale, feel your lats straight, stretch, straighten, and lengthen. As you exhale, squeeze, contract to bring your dumbbell back above your chest. So again, we're not here for our shoulders, we're not here for our triceps. Micro bend your elbows, but reach your arms long. Your entire arm comes overhead. A few more here. Continue to press your heels towards the ceiling, flex your toes. Maybe you straighten your legs, lock them out a little more. On your next exhale, as you reach your dumbbell to the ceiling, add a hip lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, your dumbbell overhead. Exhale, lift everything to the ceiling. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch it up. Tuck your tailbone under. Put your footprint on the ceiling. Lift from your tailbone. Just teeny tiny. Waking up through your lower abdominals. Last three. Two. Last one, inhale, lower everything. Reach your arms and legs long. Exhale, crunch it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze them up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. You got it. Okay, this escalated quickly. I hope you felt that. With the leg reach, oh friends. So you were holding through your lower abdominals. Now you're working that. So as you lower, everything stretches, everything lengthens. And this is the hard part to extend your training where you reach everything, and then on the contraction, you exhale, pull it up. That's the easier part. Keep going. Reach long, hover your feet just above your mat. Only go so much that you can feel your lower back is still connected to your mat. You got it. 
squeeze your lower abdominals. It's the pooch, friends. Whether you've had babies, not had babies, don't have a uterus in your body, it's the pooch. We're leaving with a V cut. We're targeting our lower abdominals. Oh, and our lats. So again, smaller waistline. There's no coincidence that we're doing the pullovers with core work. Five more. Meet me at the top in three, two, Hold it here, press your dumbbell, your feet to the ceiling. Inhale, lower your right leg to a hover. Tuck your tailbone under, glue your lower back in. Reach your arms overhead. Put your dumbbell into your right hand. Exhale, round, oh, don't knock the water over. Crunch up, transfer your dumbbell behind your hamstring into your left, round overhead, to your right, crunch up. Overhead, transfer. Crunch up, transfer behind your hamstring. Lower both shoulder blades down. Squeeze them both up. Jesus, a natural for twice. Move your water. <laughs> Hot mess, you guys. All right. I'm going to level with you. I told you I just went camping this weekend. It was a big deal for me to be spontaneous. We packed most of the things. We woke up to snow, so that got weird. And now it's Monday. It's Monday morning. It's like snowing outside. It was 70 degrees two days ago and I was hiking in the woods. So I'm a little discombobulated. Just gonna level with you there. But my track record's good too. I've survived 100% of life's things so far. We're good, we're gonna make it. Just move this out of the way altogether. Just way over there. Continue to crunch and transfer. On your next transfer behind your hamstring, hold it here and pulse, pulse, pulse. Lift both your shoulder blades up off your mat, press, through your right heel. Now, I've taught this class enough to know that a lot of you are going to be right here. You're going to drop your heel, maybe rest on the ground. That's okay. That's okay. That's a good option. You still get the abdominal love. Continue to pulse. Now, your both hands are on your dumbbell behind your hamstring. It's like a nasty bit of accountability to get you up a little higher. Both shoulder blades up. Crunch through your belly and pulse. 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 Reach it. You got it. It should be getting real juicy. Like really juicy. Five more. Last three. Two. Lower out of your knees in. Reset quick. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your legs up the wall. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale your left leg to a hover. Crunch up. Put your dumbbell behind your hamstring. Put it, your dumbbell in your right hand. Reach overhead. Transfer to your left, crunch up, transfer your right. Reach, transfer overhead, transfer behind your hamstring. You should be going in the other direction if you're not fixing it. If you're not fixing it, it's fine. This is why we warmed up through your lats first. So it's a little bit of shoulder love, I get it, but the transfer in your shoulder is sort of secondary to what's happening in your lats because you're reaching your arms overhead, transferring here, transferring down here, right? Squeeze through your back. You've got to create the same sensations on this side, the same feels. Kick through your hover heel. you got it. Take your tail alone, under, glue your lower back to your mat. Yeah, I, I know, I know. There's really nothing I can save you in this moment because it's hard, it's challenging. But stay here in the work. This is the last order of business we have. We're going to get up and do some stuff. Five more. On your next transfer behind your hamstring, hold it here and pulse. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Maybe you drop your hover blade down. That's fine. That's fine. Keep pulsing. Pulse. Pulse. Drive your navel to your spine. Allow that drive to initiate the movement. Tuck. You got it. It's not easy. It doesn't come for free. But you can turn your abs on now using the rest of the class. We're just laying on our backs. Five more. I know. Last three. Two. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, rock side to side. Massage through your lower back. Begin to rock forward and back. Massage through your spine. Build some momentum. Meet me at the top of your mat in a forward fold. Bring your dumbbell with you. You can deposit it at the top. So you are here. I'm going to be right here so you can see me. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe here. Press your hands into your shins. Actively lengthen through your spine. Reach your tailbone back, the crown of your head forward. Take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, mountain pose, breathe here. Stack one vertebra on top of the next. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Find fifth position through your arms. Bend through your elbows, round your arms, bring your palms towards each other. Inhale, fifth position. Exhale, lean back, bring your arms to second position. Reach your fingers out from your shoulders. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, lean back, second. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, second. Inhale, fifth, hold here. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, fifth position. Exhale, lean back, second. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, second. Inhale, fifth, hold here. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab your dumbbell, roll up, bring your feet to first position. Bring your toes, excuse me, your heels to touch, turn your toes out. Place your dumbbell in between both hands. Press all of your body weight into your left leg. Add a two through your right leg with a fifth position arm raise. Add two, lift, lower down. Arabesque, lock your back leg out, flex your glutes. Add a fondue, inhale, glide down, track your knee over your toes. Exhale, squeeze up, come back through first. Add a two, fifth position arm raise. Lower, arabesque, fondue. Glide your booty back, track your knee over your toes. Arabesque, fifth position, it's a shoulder raise. Back through first, two goes out to an arabesque. Wow, wow, glide it down. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Add a two, fifth position raise. Back through first. Arabesque, point your inner thigh to the ground. Externally rotate your right knee to the side. It stays there, even in your attitude. My knee still point to the side, point your knee to the side. Arabesque, add your fondue. Keep going. There's a few more here. I'm gonna try to like stay out of your line visual range. Um, it's a lot of balance, you guys. You gotta look at something that's not moving. Maybe it's not me. I'll try not to move. But pull your belly up and in. Reach the crown of your head to the ceiling. The longer, the taller, the tighter you get, the more balance you have. This is not a race. You are here to wake up through your left leg. Perhaps you've noticed. Glide your booty back. Then squeeze your tush forward to stand back up. So you've got both legs, really, because you're squeezing through your inner thigh on your right leg in attitude, through your right glute in arabesque, and you have the shoulder raise happening. A lot of core love. This is why we warmed up with core so we have this balance moment. Five more. Last three. On your next fondue, hold it here. Place your right toe down into a lunge. Pull your dumbbell through heart center. Open up second position on your bar. Slide closer to your bar if you need to. Slide in to fourth position. Bring your outside foot behind. Align your heels with one another. Come into releve. Fourth position, releve, or outside foot is behind. We'll add a bicep complex. Inhale, lower, plie, bend your knees. Exhale, squeeze up with a bicep curl forward. Inhale, lower, plie, this time. Squeeze up three quarters away, bicep curl to the side. Inhale, lower, bicep curl forward. Lower down, three quarters to the side. Lower, forward and up, lower, three quarters to the side. Lower, forward and up. Lower, three quarters to the side. All the way and forward, three quarters to the side. Flex your bicep, bi bicep, two heads. You get a hit on both of the rotation to your biceps. So we're curling forward on full range. Zip your thighs together to the side, a lateral bicep curl when you come up three quarters. So we're playing with your range of motion. We're playing with your range of motion through your bicep and your legs. Your inner thigh should be barking. Squeeze your tush to open your knees up. Now track your knees over your toes. You want to create a big diamond shape with your legs, even though you're in a staggered stance, even though you're in fourth position. So spread your knees out. Yes, better. Now you're going to be here a hot minute. So check it. Tuck your tailbone under, just like you did on your back. Tuck it under. Make your tush kind of disappear, even though that's like the opposite of what we want in life, or at least what I want in life. Tuck your tailbone under, engage through your lower belly. What I love about fourth position, you guys, is you can get real juicy in your plies. Like, I'm talking like full, grand plie. Like, you could bounce your booty off your heels. Maybe you try it. Maybe try it. You don't relax the bottom. You tap and come up. Squeeze it up. I want you to imagine for a moment that you are on like a slow elevator, right? You're controlling the lower. You're controlling the lift. It is smooth. It's controlled. 
It burns like a mother because there's no race. There's no fast movement here. Feel every sensation all the way down, all the way up. How's it feel? All of them. Like they all feel like that. I'll wait for everyone to catch up. I want your inner thighs on fire. Squeeze through your bicep. You have to flex. You have to flex. Bring your dumbbell six inches from your shoulders. You can stay in your bicep. I don't want you dumping here. Dumping here. Six inches. Flex it. Yes, friends. I mean, we're going to do it. Do it right, right? Sometimes our best laid plans don't go accordingly, and that's okay. We can be in this moment and still get the work out of it. Five more. Last three. Hold it at the bottom two. Hold it low. Turn your palm in. Drop your heels, relevant a hammer curl. Drop, curl, drop, curl, drop, curl, curl. It's fast. We're playing with tempo now. Drop your heels, lift. Drop your heels, lift. Squeeze your calves to the back of your knees. Pinch it up. Pinch it up. Pinch it. Pinch through your bicep and your calves. You've got it. We add the press in four, three, two. Lift and curl, press, lower, down. Curl, press, down. Lift and curl, press. Lift and curl, press. Lift and curl, zip your thighs. Lift and curl, zip it. Get tight. Press it up. Press it up. Press it up, so good, keep going. Okay, it's a little fast. Your inner thighs should be barking. We're hitting your bicep at another angle. I mean, why not? Why not? She got some calf love. You got your bars for support. So you're good here. You're good here. Hold it low as you lift your heels, then at the press. Everything zips tight. I want you to imagine that your body's a zipper, right? It starts at your heels and zips all the way up. I mean, through the crown of your head, hug your muscles to your bone. Knit your like, abs around in your rib cage. Yes. Five more. Last three. Two. Step out to second position, please. Bring your feet wider than hips apart. Turn your heels and toes out. Second position, stay on a flat foot. One and three quarters range again. It's time with our triceps. Squeeze your bicep behind your ears. Inhale lower, plie, bend your knees, bend your elbow. Exhale, squeeze up all the way. Overhead tricep extension. Inhale lower, exhale, come up three quarters to the side. Lower down, all the way forward. Lower down, three quarters to the side. Lower down, all the way forward. Three quarters to the side, just like our biceps. All the way forward, three quarters to the side. All the way forward, three quarters to the side. Drop your hips in line with your knees. Squeeze your quads so much that your kneecaps lift to the top. When you go full range of motion, you're gonna straighten your legs, squeeze even your tush at the top. We don't relax the top, we pinch at the top. With your overhead tricep extension, point your elbow forward, your palm towards your bar. Now when you lower back down, you come up three quarters, Point your elbow out, your palm forward. So you go forward, full range, three quarters to the side. Full range, three quarters to the side. Don't worry about locking your arm out on the, to the side like you're still in your triceps. There's no escape, right? Just do it. Just do it. If your range of motion through your arms matches your legs, there's no lockout, that's okay because you get it in full range. So don't overthink it, but squeeze your bicep behind your ear. Glide your shoulders away from your ears and burn through your triceps. Okay, friends, perhaps your triceps are on fire. What I need you to do is drop your dumbbell. Before you drop your arm, get rid of your prop. Your ego's holding you back here. You need to burn through the back of your arms and it doesn't matter if you have a prop or not. Keep your arm overhead. Keep on squeezing. It's supposed to be hard, but we only have 45 minutes to like touch and destroy everything in a very pretty way in bar. So we have to be in the work. You have to stay here. Even if you plan to use the prop the whole time, yeah, you packed it, you got it. You don't need to use it, friends. You can just leave that. It's getting juicy. Lift your gaze. There's nothing down on the floor for you. That's just being like, mm, honey, you're getting tired. You know you're getting tired. This is the moment you were waiting for when you are up against that wall of like, do I stop and take a break or do I push through it? You push through that wall, friends. Push through it. Five more. Last three. Two. Step out, second position, side lunge. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. Sink your booty back, side lunge towards your bar. Send your booty back, your dumbbells get in your outside hand. Cross body toe touch into a back slide, second position arms. 
Round your back and pinch it. Round, pinch it up. Round, pinch it up. Round, parallel your belly with your mat. Not well, you guys can see this. You can lift your front toes. You don't need them. Dig through your heels. Send your booty back. You get a pop it. Pop it like it's hot. Isometric hold through your quads, your glutes, hamstrings. Oh, God. Pull with your strong back. Squeeze your belly up and embrace your lower back. Round your back, then pinch your shoulder blade to your spine. Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Take your right hand to your bar. If you put it on your right quad, you will actually work against yourself. Like you make yourself heavier. So I see people all the time want to like rest here. Don't do it. Bring it right here. Right here. A little bit of stability. Maybe fingertips open. Keep on pulling to pick it up. <laughs> on your next lower, it's like a cross body toe touch. Launch up the top of your mat. Passe with a low row. Right back down your side lunge. Passe, low row. Touch it down. Passe, side lunge. Passe, side lunge. Passe, side lunge. You've got it. Tap your toe to your calf, then right back into your lunge. Drop and explode up. Drop, explode up. It's a little cardio moment. Maybe cardio moment. You've got it. You have a bigger cardio moment to feel. Five more. We add our fly back in in three, two. Hold your side lunge, fly it up. Launch and passe. Hold it low and fly. Launch and passe, hold it low, fly. Launch and passe, hold it low and fly. Launch and passe. It's a lot of up and down, the cardio's built in. Explode up out of your inside bar leg. Oh, back down. Squeeze and passe. Keep on going. Eight seconds here. Second position in five, four, three. Second position in plie. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. So take jumps. Hop, 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 hop. Point your toes. Lay on the top knee. Teeny tiny baby hops. We're building something good. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds, full squat jumps in three, two, drop your seat and explode, lock your legs out, touch your elbows to your knees, point your toes in the air, eight seconds, give them to me, five, four, three, two, inhale, second position, plie, exhale, lunge towards your bar, drop your dumbbell underneath, stack your right knee, your front knee over your ankle, Step your left leg long behind you. Curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge. Fire hydrant. Curtsy lunge. Fire hydrant. Curtsy lunge to fire hydrant. You've got to catch your breath. You get a well-deserved break through your upper body. Time for some booty love. On your fire hydrant. Bring your heel and your knee to the same height. So parallel your shin with your ground. Squeeze it up. So often I see this. Now we're doing friends. Turn it this way so you can squeeze through your side booty. Curtsy lunge into a fire hydrant. In your fire hydrant, your knee comes in line with your hips. It doesn't break that plane. Sink it down, cross. Squeeze that up. You get a hold at the top in about five seconds. On your next fire hydrant, hold it here. Fire hydrant, 45, you can kick that. Pull it in, kick it, pull it, kick it, pull it, kick it, pull it. Shove through your heel, pull it in, shove it, pull it in. Again, fire hydrant only. So as you pull your knee in, it comes in line with your hip. In line with your hip, it doesn't come any closer to your bar. For, for your fire hydrant, get your leg up. Lengthen through your right side body. You're at the top of your fire hydrant. Kick from here. Shove through your heel. Flex your toes. Feel your upper butt light up. That's a thing. Upper butt sure is. Sure is. Especially if you put a drink on it after this. Oh. Come on, friends. You've got it. 
Like come to the top of your range, then kick from there. Control it and take any swinging motion out. I want you to imagine that you're moving through jello. It's slow and controlled. Remember that elevator we were riding? It was real smooth. Yeah, same thing. On your next kick, hold it back at the top of your range. Pinch your glute, pull your belly up, and pulse. Pulse. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. You're at 45 degrees. So your leg's not only behind you, but it's to the side. I want it over the top corner of your mat. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Face your inner thigh to the ground. Whoo. Five. Four. Three. Two. Add the oblique crunch. Kick back. Oblique crunch. Kick back. Oblique crunch. Kick back. Oblique crunch. It's like your fire hydrant, but you can go further now. Pull your knee all the way to your bar. Bring your shoulder to meet it. Crunch through your obliques. Bring your left rib and hip closer together. Closer together. Micro bend through your standing legs. So we are working through your left side, friends. Your right side should be catching fire. It's taking care of itself. Okay. A little higher. Lift your heel a little higher. Like, yeah, yeah, right there. Five more. Last three. Two. Step back into your lunge. Plant your hands. Inhale, high plank. Three push-ups, two plank jacks, one touch up. Three push-ups, two plank jacks, one touch up. Right back in it. Three push-ups, two plank jacks, one touch up. Go. It's a lot up and down. The cardio is built in. You get a little extra baby cardio with the plank jacks. You get chest, try, shoulders, core with your push-ups. You get your lower body with the tuck jump. You get a little bit of everything here. So push. The pace is up to you, but I want you to go. I want you to go. I want you to go. Now we think about the things we prep for. When we were camping, my six-year-old was talking about all these jars he wants to bring in. We didn't really understand what that was about. Until we get there, he wanted to catch lizards. Well, there's no lizards in the creek. But there's amphibians and like, I don't know, like newts and salamander stuff. So he caught like a little toad looking thing. And that was his lizard and he was stoked. And it's because he prepared for it. Like he made plans for it. He prepared for what he wanted. And in some way or form he got it, right? It doesn't always go the way you planned, but if you can prepare for it, you get something out of it. Now think about your push-ups. So often we hear push up, we go, oh crap, and drop to our knees. Take them from your toes. If you wanna get stronger, you have to plan and prepare for that. You have to plan and prepare for that. Come to your toes, push up from there until you cannot, and then finish from your knees. Eight seconds here. I want you on your feet in five. Get another round in. On your feet into. Big breath in. Exhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Cross it up behind, curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge, fire hydrant. Curtsy lunge. Fire hydrant, you are on side two, my friends. Curtsy lunge into your fire hydrant. This time your left leg is a stabilizing leg. We're lifting through your right. Sink down, I just tap my knee at the bottom, make sure I'm getting as low as I can. Squeeze it up at the top. Again, parallel your shin, bring your, well with the ground, so bring your heel and your knee to the same height. Check in, check in, check in. Here's your fire hydrant. Here's your curtsy. Right back in a fire hydrant. Your foot should kind of be, like disappear behind your knee. I don't want this. This is not where we're going. This is a different sensation. You feel that? Okay. All right, friends. You're getting a lovely break through your upper body because we just nailed it with the push-ups. And then the hold and the plank jacks. You also have the cardio component, like, oh, uh, hello, the tuck jumps and the ups and downs. So now you get to catch your breath. This is active recovery, but it's also side two. We're cramming it in. We're being efficient with our time. We plan ahead so we can be efficient, get more bang for our buck, get better as we go. Hold your next fire hydrant. Now parallel your shoulder to the ground again. Ensure you're there. Add a 45 degree kick back. Fire hydrant, kick it. Fire hydrant, kick it. Pull it in and kick. Pull it in line with your hip. In line, kick it. In line with your hip, kick it. In line, fire hydrant, kick. In line, fire hydrant, kick. So good. I mean, it's a controlled range of motion. I don't want you pulling your knee to the bar yet. 
We'll get there, friends. We'll get there, friends. As you now know, we're on side two. There's really no surprises here. So just finish strong. Know that you can do it. You've already done all these things. We're just evening out. Finish your back side. It's your strong side. We get to hit it in a secondary way throughout the rest of class. So take this time to be like your time to shine. This is where you're strong. I want your backside to be cramping. You should be knocking on the door to like a side booty, Charlie horse, hot mess moment. And if you're not, squeeze it tighter. You are not here for speed. In fact, the slower you go, the better. I want tension, mind, muscle connection. You do too, friends. That's why you put on stretchy pants for this. Okay. On your next kick back, hold it at 45 degrees and pulse, pulse, pulse. You should feel it right here, upper booty, upper booty. Micro bend through your right knee. Maybe lift your toes off your mat. You don't need them, dig through your heel. You are at the top of your range and you pulse from there. Pulse from there. So I don't want to see a big bounce. You are up, but like I can't go much further. But somehow I can find an inch. Oh, it's a booty clutch. That's how. Booty clutch it up. Find your one inch pulse. Okay, that's different. That's changing things. You can use your bar for support. I don't want you to lean into it. So maybe you bring your fingertips only. Lift your chest, hug your belly up in and know that you can hinge forward as much as you need to to keep the sensation in your booty, maybe a little bit of your muscle top. That's what mine's called, it's a muscle top. That's where I live with that. But I don't want any lower back sensation. If your lower back's barking, you need to hinge forward more or lower your leg or both. It should start to like really scream any minute. Okay, five more. Oh, we crunch in three, two, kick it and crunch, kick and crunch, kick it, crunch. We recruited our abs. One, because we gotta hit everything. Two, because your tush is over it. So now squeeze through your obliques. Take some of the work away from your backside. Now, I know your backside's gonna still be on fire. There is no escape. You're still in these muscles. You're still in the 45 degree kickback and the fire hydrant, but it's on steroids now because your abs are involved. Go, crunch it in. Coming to the end of this sucker, my friends. I mean, it is upon us. It is upon us. Keep going. Last four. Last two. Step your right foot back into a lunge. Grab your dumbbell in your right hand. Pull it through heart center. Open up second position. Shimmy towards your bar if you need to. Slide into first this time. First position, bring your heels to touch. You've been here before. Get right back into our triceps. Releve, bring your heels back to touch. Reach your dumbbell overhead. One and three quarter plies and overhead tricep extensions. Inhale, lower, bend your knees, bend your elbow. Exhale, squeeze it up all the way. Inhale, lower, exhale, three quarters to the side. Lower, all the way forward, lower, three quarters to the side. All the way up forward, three quarters to the side. Elbow forward, elbow to the side. Point it forward and lock. Point it to the side. Point it forward. Point it to the side. Keep going. On your full range of motion, as you squeeze your thighs together, lock out your legs at the top. Point your elbow forward, your palms pointed towards your bar. When you come up three quarters of the way, point your elbow to the side, your palm point points forward. So you're gonna rotate through your tricep, just hit it at different angles. It's above your head, you have weight in it, it'll like pop and feel strain and feel the tension either way. So don't overthink it, but squeeze your tricep, friends. It's not enough to just like flail through your elbow joint. Okay, now glide your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your bicep behind your ear. There it is. Zip your inner thighs isometrically, squeeze them towards each other, whether they come all the way up or not. Yeah, so when you turn your muscles on, see how that's different. You're not just going through the motions. You are in this moment. Like when we go camping, I think about it all the time. Like you can pack all the things. You can do all the dishes. But like I'm so bad at trying to be busy and just knock things out and go, go, go that I forget to be in the moment. And that's something I'm really working on. Like even taking pictures, social media. If you're documenting your life, are you actually living it? Right? So just be here, be in this moment, get everything you can out of it, know that it's not gonna last forever. These moments, these hot mess moments where you dig a little deeper, compounded over time, is what makes your practice strong. It's what gives you the benefits you're looking for. It's what enriches our lives. Five more. Last three, two. First position, bring your dumbbell to heart center, so take jumps, so take jumps. Point your toes, 
on your toes, playing with soft knees. Press your dumbbell at your chest. Squeeze your chest, flutter your elbows out. Eight seconds here. Last five. Full narrow squat jumps in three. Turn your toes forward. Full squat jumps. Full squat jumps. You got it. Up and down. Eight seconds, get them in. Five, four, three, two. First position, bring your dumbbell back to your outside hand. Step back into fourth position, your outside legs behind. Bicep complex, releve. Inhale, lower plie, curl forward. Lower, three quarters to the side. Curl forward, three quarters to the side. Forward, to the side, you got it. Continue to flex. You're looking for the same sensations on this side. Squeeze through your bicep. Now the good news is, friends, we are almost done with this thing. This is our last bit of like work. We've already done core. We're not dropping out for that. We've done a ton of booty work. We're not dropping down for that. Like when you're done on your feet, you're done. So get this in. We're on side two, we're wrapping it up. Hold it low in five. Last three, two, hold it low, turn your palm and drop your heels, hammer curl, hammer curl, releve and curl, releve and curl, pinch it, pinch it, it's fast, pinch it, pinch it, add the press, curl, press, curl, press, drop, curl, press it up, drop, curl, press it up, drop, curl, press it up. For four, three, two, last one, step it out. Second position, turn your toes forward. Side lunge towards your bar. Dumbbell still on your outside hand. Side lunge, second position arm. Round it down, back fly. Round, fly, round, fly. Parallel your belly with your mat. Last three, and the launch. Lower, passe and row. Passe and row, passe and row, touch your toe, passe. Slow it up, touch your toe and right back down. Touch your toe and pull, touch and pull. The baby cardio moment, your last one, your last one. We had our fly back in in three, two. Drop it down, fly, passe and row, fly, passe and row, fly. Passe and row, you got it. Five more. Last three, two. Second position. Big breath in, plie. Exhale, turn towards the top of your mat. Turn the top. Keep your dumbbell heart center. Find first position. Attitude with the chest press, first position arms. Pull it in, arabesque. Fondue. Through first position. Attitude, chest press, arabesque, fondue. Attitude, chest press, arabesque, fondue. Few more, we are just here as a finisher. It's a cool down, but we have to even out on this leg. I know, I know, your balance is complete garbage probably right now. That's okay, it's because your muscles are fatigued, that's a good thing. So just finish strong. Look at something not moving, tune me out. On your next bond, you hold at the bottom, drop to your knees, ditch your dumbbell, come to your seat, swing your legs in front, find a figure four stretch, bring your right ankle above your left knee, pull your heel towards your booty, flex your toes, gently sway side to side. Remember those curtsy lunges and fire hydrants? That's what this is for. You can let those out. Sometimes the prep, the necessary prep is not physical, it's mental. You need to get your mind right to go where you need to go. And now sometimes you have to acknowledge that your best laid plans go to hell in a handbasket. But can you be spontaneous? Can you bounce back from that? Because odds are whether you did or didn't pack, you are prepared. You are a very resourceful human being, send your legs long. Switch it out, bring your left ankle above your right knee, pull your heels towards your booty, flex them, the toes. So we camped this weekend and it was 70 degrees. 
hiking and beautiful this time. Like I'm learning that extra for the boys because they're creek stomping and they're like soaked to the bone every half hour. So I did that. But what I didn't prepare for was the snow we woke up to Sunday morning. We made it work, right? Again, we're glamping. I've got a stove. We made breakfast instead of over the fire. We made it inside. We had a little cozy moment as a family. Extend your legs long. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way to your back. Inhale your arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Allow them to fall to the left, supine twist. Step your right hip on top. Pull your right shoulder blade to your mat. And again, I tell you the best part of our camping trip so far was that like spontaneous, cozy moment in the camper. We're like forced into each other's space. We're playing games. We're having breakfast around a tiny table together. And it was great. It was like our little safe place. It was our home away from home. And we wouldn't have had that had we been more prepared or had we not had like a wrench thrown in the plans. Snow is snowing right now. We've got something looking at it. It's like big flurries. It's not quite Halloween yet. I'm going to start playing Christmas music and people are going to be mad about it. Don't worry, it's not coming on the playlist that big breath in. Exhale, hug your knees back through center, reset your spine, allow them to fall to the right, supine twist. Stack your left hip on top, pull your left shoulder blade to your mat, stay and breathe. Look for the same sensation on this side as you found on side one. Do you have any lower back sensation? If it's a little too juicy, release your heels, your knees away from your body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back through center of your knees to your chest and release to your chest. And I'll help you out in just a moment. Slowly, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms or head, full body stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, curl your knees towards your chest. And just take a moment, take a beat, to acknowledge all the sweat equity you put on your mat. At home, once upon a time at the studio, maybe this is your first time joining us through cyberspace, and welcome, you're doing an amazing job. Now imagine. All that time compounded has brought you to this fabulous moment you're in. And yes, we're always striving for the next thing, but you have never been more prepared for life than you are now. Your entire life has been building up to these moments, these moments you are in now, these moments that are coming. So can you lean into them? Can you embrace the spontaneity knowing that our best laid plans can sometimes be just plans? But to know that you are prepared, you are prepared and open to what's to come. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale your arms overhead. 
Exhale your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And good things are coming. We seal our practice. Honor each other. Namaste. So good. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Go with the flow where you need to, friends. We'll see you soon.